Alright guys, I am back with another episode of Madden 21. Today is going to be a speed rebuild. Um, something I really thought of, like, um, we only have one year. I picked the Chargers because they have a really good defense, and it's kind of harder to bring a defense in by trading, but I'll explain it to you. You basically just trade, do a bunch of trades just to try to get your team as stacked as possible for one year. I am only going one year to make this playoffs. Um, I, I think I have, um... Seller cap off to make the trades because the trades are bugged with free agency. So don't yell at me for that, but that's why. But um, this is the preseason rating, so that's why Justin Herbert's only a 70. So and Austin Eckler's an 85. So all these have been changed. Like Desmond King's still here. Uh, Derwin James. We could use something as an outside linebacker, maybe. I'd rather play Kenneth Murray. But uh, yeah, let's kind of get into it. So. Before I start my timer, the 10 minutes to start trading, I am going to sign a couple free agents. Signing a couple free agents could just give me value from our players. Like, actually, let me turn off salary cap first. Okay, what I was saying is signing these players could give me so much value. Like, Devonta Smith, uh, Devonta Freeman, sorry, not Devonta Smith. Devonta Freeman, 84 overall, 28 age. Colin Kaepernick, a big one because a lot of teams need a quarterback. So signing these players for just value is very smart, in my opinion, and probably Tony Jefferson as well for strong safety. Okay, not much else to say. Let's get into it. I have a timer set on my phone for 10 minutes. You can't obviously see it because I don't have a face cam. But uh, let's start it in 3, 2, 1. All right. First thing I want to go for is offensive line. I know that Quentin Nelson and Travis Kelsey and... Uh, whatever their team is, is hard, are really easy to get. So let's start off with Quentin Nelson. They need an outside linebacker. Let's see. Outside linebacker. They need right outside. We have two. How do you like him? Yeah, he, they love him. Okay, we can definitely make this go through. They need a quarterback. Do I start Justin Herbert? I don't know. I'm not giving them this. I'm not giving them this first. Uh, who do I... Uh, let's get rid of Denzel. This should happen. Okay, so those two players for Quentin Nelson. Now if I go down to Cowboys, stacking up this line. Zach Martin, I'm going to grab him. They need a center. Do we have any bench centers that we can grab? Not really. How about any D tackles? Um, I'm fine with giving away Justin Jones. They don't like him. How about Tillery? Do you like Tillery? They like Tillery. How does this look? Okay, I can make that happen as well. How about we throw in a couple picks? I say a second and a third from next year. How about a fourth from next year? This should work. And it does. Okay, so we have two good, really good linemen. Honestly, I might go grab Jason Kelsey as well so I can fill out my linemen anymore. And I don't really... Actually, that's it. I might as well. They need a middle linebacker as well. I kind of traded him, but one thing we didn't trade was... Our left outside. Uh, how about you like Kaiser White? You don't. I'm not giving away a one two. They need a left tackle, but so do we. But if we grab him, we could so move other players. But they don't need him. How about a wide receiver? We don't have much depth, don't we? We don't. Do you like th any three of these kids? You don't. Uh, I don't know what to give them. I don't want to give up too much value for them. Okay, I don't think I'm going to get him, to be honest with you. I don't think I will. Um, but we don't need a tight end. We got Hawkinson. Can I snag Fletcher off? I mean, I would love to give, like, I would so give up. Like, do you like Dre? I don't know. I probably couldn't get him. All right, now time to get rid of the players that I signed, like Herbert. Not Herbert, but... Devonta Freeman, who has interest in both of them. The Patriots have interest in both of them. Uh, Devin McCourty. Well, nope, I'm not going to grab that. How about, how about Dante Hightower? This should go through. Yep, okay, we have Dante Hightower now. That's good. I'm, I'm fine with Justin Herbert starting. I know he's only a 70 overall, but I can care less. I need to check my timer. 
Okay, so about seven minutes remaining. We don't have to go that fast. Um, I don't. I mean, like, I kind of got what I like. What I needed. I don't really need much. How about a tight end? An older, an older tight end that could be easy to trade for. Maybe depth. Um, I don't know. What can I snag? How about Josh Hill? I should be able to get Josh Hill for like absolutely nothing. I love depth at uh, the tight end position. So how about a two and a three for Josh Hill? Okay, we got Josh Hill. It says we need a left tackle, but I can definitely move everything around. We need a D tackle. Let's go to D tackle. Maybe some older players or depth players like that. Um, I want like a I want another star. Who can we grab? Um, we can definitely snag Geno Atkins for sure. What, what do I give him? Like a how about like two first rounders? Okay, got two first rounders for Geno Atkins. Remember, trading away two first rounders does not matter because obviously I'm only going one year into the future, so it's not like I'm actually going to draft anyone. So don't really worry about that. Uh, QB, we're good. Free safety. Again, I have my free safeties moved out with Desmond King and everything. So right outside linebacker. Who can we snag it right outside linebacker? Um, Not going to get him. Not going to be able to get him. Uh, someone that's decently old, Demario Davis, a good one. How, how do you, you want a left outsider? What's our left outsider? Come on, Kaiser White. God, they don't, no one has value in that dude. Hmm, weird. Cornerback, I, I could still trade away Desmond King, but I don't want to because he's playing free safety. Oh, I don't want to. Please find interest. Dang it. Okay, if this doesn't go through just straight up, then I'm not taking it. It goes straight up. Okay. Um, I will sign that one free safety or move someone to whatever. I'll figure it out. But we need a free safety. So let's see what kind of free safeties we can snag easily. Um, free safeties. Older. I mean, they don't have to be older, but it's kind of how you get everything. As if them being older and not really having any more value. But they have value for us because... Okay, I just want to find someone. I could probably... No, never mind. Um, who do I snag? There's so many... There's not many young... I mean, old safeties. Uh, Rodney McLeod. No, I don't want him. I want, like, I want 85 plus. Well, it's going to be hard to do because it's going to be very hard to do. Okay, three minutes, 33 seconds left. Dev McCord, come on. We got we to gotta try to get this dude. It would be awesome if we had Dev McCordy. How do you like Dre Tranquil? You do. Mm, I don't know if I could do this. Tight end. Josh Hill as well. Do you like this? Oh my god, I don't know. I don't know if we're going to be able to go through. How about Virgil Green as well? All three. We're not going to be able to get him, aren't we? That sucks, dude. How about this straight up? Uh, nope, I'm not doing that if it's not straight up. All right. I don't need Drake Dranquil anymore, so I can definitely try to snack someone. Matthew Ioannidis, come on, for no reason. I'm, I'm definitely getting him then. I'm definitely getting him. Two th minutes, 33 seconds left. Left tackle. We need left tackle as well, it says. Do you like Troy Pipkins? You do. I'm um, throwing a pick. Third rounder. And that will definitely go through. And we have Matthew Ioannidis. All right. Left tackle. I, I'm moving all the... I'm going to move all the linemen around so we can... Okay, I'll just... I know... Two minutes left. What do I do? I say we try to send it for a big, huge receiver. I don't really need a receiver because I got Keenan Allen. I mean, I'd like to do a little duo in there, but 
I mean, I'm not really that... Oh, Emmanuel Sanders would be a nice pickup. But, I don't have that really good of a right end to get out. Uh, how do you like Kenneth Murray? You love him. Okay, straight up like that. Alrighty, um... Okay, I mean, actually, I'm going to stop the timer. I'm going to end it there. And, alright, let's take a look at the team. This is the okay, so the one change trends. I'm going to make this is, the abilities tab. Here is moving Zach Martin to left tackle. I know he's played a girl all his life, but I don't care. I moved him to left tackle so the line will fit out so much better. Okay, so this is a look at the team. Justin Herbert starting at quarterback. I have faith in him. 70 overall, not might do the greatest, but I have faith in him. Keenan Allen, number one receiver. Emmanuel Sanders, number two receiver. And a great number three receiver in Mike Williams. Zach Martin at left tackle. Quentin Nelson at left guard. Mike Pouncey at center. Troy Turner at right guard. And Beluga at right tackle. With Josh Hill and Hunter Henry. The tight end duo. But I defense. This team looks awesome. Honestly, I could move Melvin Ingram to left outside linebacker. And move Joseph to right outside linebacker, and it'll boost the overall a little bit more as well. So I might I'll do that. Okay, so changing that around, Joseph does go down from 85 to an 81, but that's still better than a 77 at left outside linebacker. So I'm still happy with the team. Tony Jefferson at strong safety, free safety is Derwin James. Two great corners and Casey Hayward and uh, whatever his name is Harris, Dante Hightower and Demario Davis. This team might be old, but it's got some serious talent. And yeah, the team is an 88 overall flat. Yeah, I really not much else to say. That's just sim to midseason. See how a team does. Okay, at the midseason, we are 4-4, four and four, completely even. I'm not even going to look at negotiations, but 4-4, four and four, we are completely even. Do we go up to an 89 overall with this? All these upgrades. We do not. We opened an 89 overall offense, but let's see how we are 4-4. Four four. I feel like we've been done better. We have a good offense and defense, so I don't know how we're letting up 40 points. But week one, we went against the Bengals. Week two, we lose against the Chiefs. Week three, we lose, uh, win against the Panthers. Two losses in a row against the Buccaneers and Saints. Win against the Jets, only by two points. Win against the Dolphins, one score. And lose against the Jags in one score. I'm looking at the rest of the seasons we go Raiders I could see we can get a Raiders Broncos we can definitely win that Bills it'd be a matchup but Patriots I can see us winning that because we've stole a lot of players off their team Falcons I can see them win a Raiders again bro so I feel like we definitely should make the playoffs hopefully this would be a very short episode if we didn't but um not much else to say let's just send the playoffs Okay, do we make the playoffs? I don't think we did. We go seven and nine. Uh, let's check out the schedule. Um, playoff schedule. Nope, team schedule. Not preseason. Okay, this is being stupid. But okay, so we stopped here. We lose against the Raiders. Very surprising. And then we get crushed by the Broncos. We win the Bills surprisingly. Win the Patriots as I predicted. We lose against the Falcons. Win against the Raiders as I predicted, and we lose these two games. Honestly, if we won the Broncos and we won the Broncos game right here, if we just beat the Broncos, which they're not good. If we beat the Broncos, we'd be in the playoffs right now. But take a look at the playoff bracket. Okay, so Chiefs first seed and Packers first seed. Um, Looks like a normal Jets. The Jets are the seventh seed. That's something I am... Oh, God. All right, well... Nothing else to say. That's just... Actually, first of all, I want to look at the stats. I want to see how Justin Herbert did. That might be the reason he held us back. Well, it wasn't the reason he held us back. Justin Herbert almost passed for 5,000 yards, crushing the QB uh, rookie uh, passing rating. 35 passing touchdowns and only 12 interceptions. This is a MVP season for sure. Austin Eckler, on the other hand... Did not do so well. Only three touchdowns and 853 yards. Kind of sucked, to be honest with you. But three, almost four receivers with 4,000, I mean, 1,000 yards or higher. Keenan Allen with 1,194. Joe Reed with 1,091. Hunter Henry with 1,019. Emmanuel Sanders with 960. 
Um, Joe Reed with 14 touchdowns. That is crazy. How do we do on defense? Tackles, two T Pilp over 100. That was Demario Davis and Dante Hightower. Um, TFL, so who led the team in that? Joey Bosa with 11. I don't think we brought much. Yeah, we didn't bring much pressure on the quarterback with our most sacks. I mean, we did bring so much pressure. We kind of spread out, though. But who had the most picks? Tony Jefferson. Um, and then a bunch of people with one. My question is, do we have any touchdowns? We did not. All right. All right, let's simulate to the Super Bowl and see. Honestly, I want to see if Justin Herbert won the MVP. Points because of okay, usually awards. Did he win it? Colin Kaepernick the won the MVP. Holy crap. Imagine passing for almost 5,000 yards and not even winning the MVP. Colin Kaepernick won it. Out of all people, the person we traded. Jesus Christ, dude. But we, yep, we obviously win the Offensive Rookie of the Year. Defensive Rookie of the Year. Don't really have many. Best quarterback. We went over Colin Kaepernick for some reason. Obviously, what's his face won't be in there. But Keenan Allen, Joe Reed in there at second. Keenan Allen at nine. O line men should have good players. Zach Martin and Quentin Nelson. Best D line, hopefully. Okay, Joey Bosa's not in there. Then the high tower's in there for best linebacker. Best DB, and we do not have anyone in there either. Who was our kicker? I am Michael Badgley. Did pretty good, obviously, because he has a mullet. But to end off this episode, Chiefs and Packers in the Super Bowl. I've seen that so many times in simulation. But let's see who wins. Honestly, I see the Packers winning this. But that would be cool if the Chiefs went back-to-back. -back. I mean, I feel like they're going to go back-to-back -back in real life. I mean, I'm pretty sure everyone does. But they do, 38-23. to And that is the end of the episode. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And please leave a like and down in the comments, comment what you want team to do that next and speed rebuild, realistic rebuild, or just regular rebuild how I did with the Broncos a while back. But yeah, do that in peace.